All right, so the next part we're going to go through and make is a timber wheel. As you can see, you've got your, your flat base, a hole in the center, and then we've used a fillet, which is a round over on the edges, on both edges, um, which you can see there. To create this, it is fairly simple. So we're going to come through and utilize a lot of the skills that we've learned before. Create a new part. Once that's loaded, we're going to come through and we're going to go new sketch, choose the front, select the front plane, get our circle tool and draw a, this time we're going to start with a 45 millimeter circle. That's 45. And as you can see, I'm so far zoomed in that I cannot physically see where my circle was drawn. So I need to zoom out. And you may find that's the case for you as well. Then we're going to come here and we're going to draw ourselves a nine. No, actually, we're going to leave that. So we've got our 45 millimeter circle. And press finish sketch. From here, we need to extrude that. Come up to the extrude button or press E. And we're going to extrude that 10 millimeters. Why not? 10 mils will do us for this one. What we're missing here is we're missing the chamfer and the center hole. I mean the fillet <laughs> and the center hole. We'll draw that center hole first. So after you've created a sketch or a draw, I mean a drawing and a 3D object, you can then create sketches off the faces of those objects. So you're going to select sketch and you're going to choose this, the face of that. And automatically you can see because of where it was started, we've got the center line just there and it's giving us all our sketch tools up the top. We are once again going to utilize the circle tool. Come across, select that, move that out, and I want you to do a nine millimeter circle there. Press finish sketch, and then press E for extrude or utilize the extrude button. And this time we're not gonna create an extrude coming out. We're actually gonna remove material. So I want you to click direction. So over here you've got direction one, You've got, and I'm going to show you from a side on view. So direction one has it going out the side that I've just selected, drawn from. It always comes out of it. Direction two is a remove function where it actually comes through and goes back in and removes that. Now, as you can see, there's now a hole in that. Yep. Direction three sends it both halfway in and halfway out. And for this, it's actually going to cause a little bit of a hassle there. So it's going half in, removing some, and it's going to go half out and remove some. It's trying to remove some there. Um, if we go left. And then the other one is where you can set different distances. Distance one is one side, one way, and distance two is another. So as you can see, distance one over here extends 10 millimeters, while distance two just goes back in five millimeters. We want to go back through and we want to use the second one, the second option. And so if we're on our right here, like that, or on a bit of an angle there, sorry, my bad, we're putting a hole in it. And that's exactly what we want to do is put a hole there. So if we come through, we're going to press OK. And then the whole way through your shape, you have a hole there. The next step is to go through and we need to add those fillets. Now a fillet, as I explained before, is a round over. Come up to the fillet tool, select that, and come through and select those edges. Now before when we used the chamfer, um, I didn't explain how you can change the sizing. It's the same with a chamfer and with a fillet, and there are always different variables or variations rather of a fillet. But we're gonna come through, I'm gonna add a, let's go off. Three, three mil fillet, we're gonna say. That'll be fine, and just press OK. Congratulations, you have created your wheel. Now the very last step is this is pine. So to do that, we go tools, material, double click. It's struggling. Type in the top pine, and I'm gonna come down to radiata. Move across to the outside arrow, not the very far outside, just the uh, the first one on the left and select that. Then I'm going to press exit there and we have created a pine timber wheel with a nice lovely fillet going around the outside.
From here, we need to save, file, save as. And I want you to come through, and we're going to name this part wheel. Like so, and press save.